Hello, and welcome to Gabe's Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play through some more Marvel Avengers Beta today. I'm continuing my play Marvel Avengers Beta with me series. If you'd like to see me continue this, please like and subscribe. That'd be great. And thanks for watching. I've already finished the beta, and I enjoyed a whole bunch of it. It was really, really good in some ways. And in some ways I thought it was alright. I have obviously finished all the gameplay in the beta because the beta is no longer available. If you'd like to see me actually continue this series of uploading videos on it, please show that support because now I just have to add my voice and do that with it. Let's continue this game. I really like seeing Kamala and the Hulk there. I'm imagining that the more Avengers you pick up, the more actually in that screen. This loading screen is actually sick. It's a really cool loading screen. It's always really good when you can play the game to get into the gaming world. And I think the best loading screens I've ever seen in games were loading screens which actually engaged with the gaming material and the gaming world really well. And that's what I think that this particular loading screen does. It's fantastic. I love seeing all the different Avengers and the attention to detail that they've rendered on each of them and the way that they get ready to do combat in these screens is just really cool. Oh man, seeing Iron Man here is so cool. And if I think about it, I notice that a lot of the way that Iron Man moves is with his hands out. And if you have a look at Sherlock Holmes, a lot of martial arts skill from Robert Downey Jr. is displayed. Like his Wing Chun skills are awesome. And I think that Iron Man actually moves a little bit like a Wing Chun martial artist. He almost moves like uh, IP Man. I could be completely wrong here, but he moves like a really awesome martial artist with his hands, particularly the way he finishes his attacks. Okay, I think we're getting into it. Yay! We're the Hulk versus Abomination. Okay, this is on brutal difficulty. Let's see how we go. Let's take him out as quickly and as easily as we can. This is actually really cool. It's been a while since I've seen a boss fight like this in a Marvel game. It's just so cool. Also, I'm getting flashbacks to the Incredible Hulk PS2 game and taking out Red Hulk in that. That was so awesome. <laughs> he seems pretty easy to dodge, to be honest. He seems really easy to avoid. Yes, Abomination. We're here to have fun. Take you out. I've also got to say, it always irks me when you take on a villain and their health bar is like so much larger than yours. And you're like, ah, oh, but I just wish that I had the same health bar. <laughs> also, Abomination is clearly a little taller than us. We're a bit short compared to him. Them dodging skills. Oh, I've got to admit, I'm actually really enjoying taking out Abomination and fighting him. This is actually really, really cool. Ah, oh, damn. I tried to dodge, didn't work. <laughs> damn, I missed that. Let's use a superpower. I feel like he's not too hard to take out either. Like, he's not a bad villain in terms of, like, difficulty. He's actually pretty easy. I mean, I'm still getting hit, so I'm not doing this flawlessly, but this is my first time trying it, and so we're doing alright. And I think after you've actually taken out the Queen Valkyrie on God of War difficulty in God of War, and just if you've had exposure to a whole bunch of different bosses in other games, this is not too difficult. And I remember thinking, gee, the Abomination fight in Brutal Difficulty, that looks challenging, because I saw this before I actually played it, and I've got to admit, I thought it was going to be really, really challenging, and it's definitely challenging in aspects, but it's not the equivalent of taking out, for example, Sigrun, Queen Valkyrie in God of War. It just, it's not quite the same difficulty level. This does feel, however, like you're on a pretty even playing field with Abomination. Like, you don't feel at match fight. Couldn't get rid of Banner, couldn't join him. That's pretty cool. We all see things from Bruce's side. We never see things from the Hulk's side. I suppose Abomination speaks to that. How about you, buddy? Have you looked in the mirror? Sweet! We've unlocked his actual abilities now. Abomination is going to come at us at full tilt. This actually feels really, really cool. Okay, excellent. So we're actually in Abomination's lair, so to speak. I'm also really curious as to why the Hulk actually manages to beat him, because the Hulk's clearly not at full strength, and Abomination is at full strength, or why the Hulk's actually feeling so down trodden, like look at him, he doesn't look great. Spamming that triangle is honestly the best attack with the Hulk, it is so good, I just love the way it actually hits the ground. Also love seeing the actual ground break up into bits, it's very satisfying. 
Come on, Abomination, we're gonna take you out. You going down, buddy. I'm gonna see if I can actually time my Thunderclap for like a really good moment, or at least towards the end of it. Honestly, he's not hard. This is brutal difficulty. Abomination is not a hard villain to take out. Although it does feel really cool to have a villain who's actually almost on your level. Maybe that's your weakness. Let it go. Let it go. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, Abomination's talking about Monica. I think Monica is actually the head of AIM's partner. Like, they co-founded AIM. Tarleton and Monica co-founded AIM together. This honestly does feel really, really cool. The destruction that's happening around you and the heaviness of your blows is great. Come on, Abomination. We're going to take you out. We're this close. We got you. <laughs> well, that clearly worked. Come on, last couple of hits. Take him out. Follow him. Do it. Yes, Hulk. Go for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Smash. That is so perfectly the Hulk. Well done, guys. That is so good. Is it... dead? Hey, where are we anyway? Right, I'm talking to myself. That's a really good question. I have to admit that felt super satisfying playing as the Hulk for that boss fight. I'm really going to enjoy, I think, playing the Hulk's boss fights, but my main's probably going to be Iron Man. Okay. Show me your secrets. Case 705. According to our lead scientist, we have successfully reverse engineered carrion gas. What? Wait, please. Calm down. In a moment, this will all be over. Administer the cure. What does that mean? You're hurting him. Promising result. Case 705 has made a remarkable recovery and will be monitored for the next 24 hours. Congratulations. You've been cured. Impossible. We should get out of here. It isn't safe. Yeah. Sure. They definitely have a little bit of romantic chemistry there. It's really cool to see how much Bruce actually cares for her, because the Hulk went full bottle to actually save her. Well, you can feel free to make it a little more... homey. Oh, thanks. Yeah. You good? I'm not used to you being this quiet. Uh, uh yeah, it's nothing. Okay. Okay. Good. So... Yeah. What if it's real? Oh, sorry, what was that? The cure. What if it's real? I mean... I mean, it looks real, but... Uh, what if I could be normal again? <laughs> it, uh... It didn't work like that. I mean, you saw them. It looks like it really hurts, but... But maybe that's worth it? Kamala... I never really fit in before. I mean, uh, superheroes were my world, and I figured if I could just... 
Oh, if I could just win that fan fiction competition, you know, then everything would just be... Doesn't matter. <laughs> I so relate to Kamala's nerdism here. Now look at me. I'm a freak. Whoa, you're not a... Seeing how nervous he is is hilarious. And actually very cute how they relate. What you did back there. Hey. What you did back there took a lot of guts. S stupid. <laughs> but it still took guts. And it, not a lot of people could, you know, do that. Good isn't a thing you are. What? It's nothing. Um, thank you. This room is really great. Okay. Or it will be. I mean, okay. look at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's... Uh, but, um... Good. Yeah, thanks. Okay, I'll go... do... other things. Okay. All right. <laughs> that is great. Good job, Kamala. That wasn't awkward at all. Now I have my own room on the Chimera. Is this really happening? Hell yes. But the view was amazing when this thing was in the air. Maybe Mr. Stark can fix it. Maybe Mr. Stark can. He's known for fixing these helicarriers. Is this actually called the Chimera? Was the big ship that was in Avengers 1 called the Chimera? I'm actually not too sure. They were using it for storage or something. No, it was just the helicarrier. I'm reasonably sure it was just called a helicarrier. I don't think it had a name. Maybe the Chimera is something in reference to the comics. <laughs> All the party music. That's better. I wonder who was staying here before. I should go talk to Bruce. Or I could look around some more now that some of the doors are working. You know, give him some time to forget he saw me crying. I'm actually really keen to see the two of them have some form of romantic engagement, or at least for that tension to be built more. That's very, very cool. I'll play this game just to see them actually bond. What is all this stuff? It's kind of got me fascinated. I feel like a detective poking my head around looking for clues. Look, there's one here, look, there's one there. Some nice herbs growing in here. Basil, thyme, maybe some oregano. Ooh, yeah, maybe we'll make our own little herb garden. That'd be pretty cool. Or that could be Kamala and Banner's bonding time together. Gives them a side project to work on, you know, when they're not running around doing Avengers stuff. This blood machine thing can tell me more about my powers. Hmm, I wonder how it actually works. And what mutant gene is available for us to actually pick up. Or if the mutant gene is similar to the superhero gene or how it works. And there's one game which actually did a really good job of creating super powerful characters in a world. And how they existed together. And I remember that was Infamous Second Son. I love the Infamous games and I played the original Infamous on PlayStation 3. And the Infamous 2 game on PlayStation 3. And then Infamous Second Son was actually so good. And I remember playing it a few times at a friend's place. And just thinking, wow, it did the super powerful beings in the real world really well by creating this term and this concept called conduits. And the conduits basically possess the ability to learn super powerful attacks and super powerful abilities. And the conduits are really, really cool. They're kind of like the X-Men, to be honest. Oh, whoa, we're entering Bruce Banner's room. This is the Hulk's room. Looks like Hulk left this one alone. Still looks pretty nice in here. Or Bruce is just a super fast cleaner. He's like in our share house. This is dope. How cool would it be to actually live next to the Hulk? That is incredibly cool. Assuming the Hulk doesn't lose his temper and just go nuts and kill everything. But that's awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't wait to see the rooms of the different Avengers. This is so like playing Mass Effect and being on the Normandy and having your different crew members. But having the Hulk and Iron Man and Thor as crew members would be so cool. Sorry about, um... No, 
Don't worry about it. Any luck with you know who? Ah, good timing. I was just about to take a look. Can I get a hand on the other side there? Just push that button. They make a really cute couple. Okay, here goes nothing. Good afternoon, Dr. Banneth. Oh. Whoa. They did it. Yes! Tony Stark's super awesome computer pal. No, oh, I'm just a rather very intelligent system. A pleasure to meet you, miss. Uh, con. But you can call me Kamala. A pleasure, miss Kamala. What's going on? The war table isn't getting enough power. The system is on emergency lockdown. Huh. Looks like I tripped the security sensors when I was in the lab. We'll have to disable them. I got this. I help. See? I can actually do things too. Mr. Bruce Banner, I can help out as well. I'm not an awe of you Avengers or anything. Man, I would be an awe of the Avengers. This thing belongs in a museum. So cool. This is the place where we had the fight scene with Cap. Why is his shield just sitting here? Also, there's no way that Cap's actually dead. No way. Where'd he go? I have to admit, so far my favorite part of the Avengers game has been playing as Captain America on this ship earlier. That was amazing. Also, I'm just going to equip all of the gear here. See what I can find. Yeah, I feel like that section of the game was incredible. And I really can't wait to actually play as Cap again. It's going to be awesome. Also, I feel like the gear that we just picked up here immediately gives us a whole bunch of power increase. It's like our cheat code in order to actually play the game properly. Because the tutorial, I imagine, is almost done. So then we got to actually go into the world and fight the bad guys and do the real thing. Also, if you'd like to see me play through some more of this Marvel beta, please like and subscribe. That'd be great. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's to be really good. I also really like the fact that you can just automatically equip the most powerful gear available to you. Because I'm not as interested in the gear that I have in this game as I would be in other games. For example, Lord of the Rings of the Third Age, for some reason I love looking through my itinerary in that game, or my inventory as they call it in that game. I love looking through all of the different swords and armor and stats, and here there's just nothing as interesting to equip. Like the only interesting thing that I can think of that Avengers could be able to equip to themselves, other than Thor's hammer, is if they were able to equip Infinity Stones. And the way that they do Hulk's gear still is a little confusing for me because it makes sense that you have a way to upgrade him and increase his power level, but I don't really think there's much you can equip to the Hulk. He's already big and green and strong and monstrous. Iron Man, though. You can equip a lot of stuff to Iron Man. That makes sense to me. And the Thor's suit is actually different power levels. And so you can equip Thor's suit, you can equip Iron Man's suit, and I even imagine there's ways you can, like, Buckle up Cap's armor so that he's stronger, but I'm not too sure about Hulk. It's cool that they actually gave him a way to upgrade, and I suppose everybody needs the same system to upgrade, so that makes sense. But in my mind, it's really interesting to try and imagine how you would make the Hulk more powerful than he already is. And in terms of Thor's suit, you remember the little circular things that are on his chest that go from his chest down to his stomach? When he's stripped of his power... Odin takes away all of the actual, like, magical things that glow in his chest. So, I think that they represent power levels of some sort. I don't quite know how they represent his power, but I think they do. Also, speaking of Thor and his power levels, go Chris Hemsworth as an actor, that's awesome. Go Aussies. But also, I really like the fact that Thor Ragnarok made Thor powerful without Mjolnir. Like, I thought the God of Thunder should surely have Thunder powers of his own. And otherwise, I was curious to see as how he was a god, and what made him a god, and what made him powerful in that way. Because surely the reach of his godhood is not Thor's ability to use his hammer, but rather that he is a god, and that the hammer makes him focus his power. Which is what they described in Thor Ragnarok, which I thought was really, really cool. Also, the Thor in the upcoming God of War game, I'm sure is going to be completely different to the Thor that they have in this game. I feel like they're two different Thors. And I mean, obviously they're two different Thors, but they're almost polar opposites of each other. One Thor is greedy and vain and cruel and wants to be awful to other people. And the other Thor is kind of a good ruler and just much more chill and is really, really good and looks after his people. You know, who plays video games and threatens Noob Master. That kind of Thor. Gets fat and drinks lots of alcohol. 
<laughs> do you love what they do with Thor in Endgame? It's hilarious. It is so good. Oh, uh, just, yeah, that scene where he talks about Noob Master. I will fly down there. And I forget exactly what he threatens him with, but it's hilarious. Just that scene. I want to see the Avengers playing video games. Gameception. Do it. It has to be done. Avengers Endgame has done it. I want to see it here. That'd be so dope. <laughs> I'm mostly joking, but also, how cool would that be? That would be really, really cool. I just got so lost, I didn't know where to go. Ah, I think that sets us on the right path. As long as we activate that, we're on the right path. Oops. Uh, I think I made it worse. It's okay. Just means you'll need to disable the security sensors manually. Uh, look for the little red lights. How the heck am I supposed to reach them? Really? Oh, right. <laughs> Duh, sturdy arms. Uh, got one. Okay. This is easy. <laughs> I wonder how long she's had her powers for, and if she's just not used to them yet, or if that was just a really cute moment. My money's on that was just a really cute moment between her and Bruce Banner. Woof. Okay, here we go. Let's take out that light. You know, in one of my stories, Iron Man has to shoot out a bunch of street lights to cover for Black Widow sneaking into a Hydra base. Uh-huh, that's nice. Didn't think it could actually be a real thing an Avenger did, you know? I mean, not that I'm a real Avenger or anything. You're almost done, kiddo. I love how they slipped that in there. All right, that did I will count as a main Avenger. Right, I think that they do know that we wanted to play as the main Avengers cast that we saw in the film. So I'm really glad that they slipped that in there. Here are challenge cards. Cool. I think I'll leave that alone for the moment. Not really interested in that. But we'll see. I'm going to say something really weird. I missed the collectibles that you get in the Tomb Raider game, which came out in 2013. One of the really cool aspects of that was that you had a voiceover with the actual cool stuff that you picked up in the game. And I really wish that Kamala would almost voice over what you're picking up, either the comics or the other things. Super weird thought, but that would add something to it for me, I think. Okay, cool. So let's go find Bruce. I think that's it. Nice work, Kamala. Okay, Jarvis, let's find Tony. Uh, Jarvis? Searching now. Hold on. Something... Something is wrong, Dr. Banner. That's not good. Oh, dear. It appears my neural uplink was damaged when the Chimera crashed. Damn, and nobody's tried to fix it at all since then? Technology. Without it, I can't access the global database. Shield? Uh, let's get Maria on the phone. Maria Hill? Is she leading Shield now? Uh, sort of. No one knows what happened to Director Fury, so Hill is the only one I know I can trust. Him. Cool, so we're gonna talk to Maria Hill. Bruce, it's, uh, it's good to see you. After my run-in with the Hulk, I wasn't sure we'd be hearing from you again. Yeah, sorry about all that. Uh, Hulk's been having some issues. You don't have to apologize. All our lives fell apart after that day. I'm just glad to see the Avengers back in action. Ha! Uh, not quite. Hi, Kamala Khan. It's just the two of us for now. We're trying to find Mr. Stark. Yeah, uh, Marie, we're gonna need a neural uplink. We've gotta have one stored somewhere. All of our resources were seized by AIM, and most agents are still in hiding. But I may know where to look. I'm sending the coordinates to your war table. I can brief you on the way. Shall I prep the Quinjet's engine, sir? Uh, what Quinjet? So, when Hulk showed up here, did everyone just, like, freak out and run? Uh, pretty much. And, uh, couldn't really blame him. So this must be how we get around the world. That's really cool. Also, Quinjet! Don't tell me that's the X-Men's Quinjet. That's awesome. War table to set the Quinjet's destination of your next mission. The coordinates Commander Hill provided lead to an installation in a remote tundra region. I have marked the location on your war table. Missions that are critical to your investigation of AIM will be marked with the Avengers A. I thought that would be appropriate. 
Some missions will contain enemies with special abilities and modifiers. It would be wise to examine a mission's modifiers and plan your loadout accordingly. Aim forces in this region are reported to use cryotech weaponry. Equip any cold protection gear you may have to better your chances of success. I've got to admit, I'm really looking forward to going on missions where I discovered the Avengers. It feels very much like finding the Avengers again in Endgame, post a catastrophe. Except this wasn't Thanos' finger snap, this was just the result of A-Day. So this area is filled with cold. Okay, i got to make sure I don't freeze to death. We'll figure out something. I'm just going to hop straight to it, get this mission done, see how we go. No time to dilly-dally. Let's try it. Did you know this was here the entire time? <laughs> Absolutely not. I swear. Uh-huh. I think you just wanted to go on a road trip in your RV. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> They're getting cozier. That's adorable. Aleph actually criticizes him for that. Sweet! New hero available! So Hulk is now available for me to play as, as well. I just didn't love it as much as I would like to, and I feel like Kamala will be better for me, particularly playing a Brutal. I'm just going to make sure that I play well, so I'll play as Kamala for this mission. There is a lot to enjoy in playing as the Hulk, and it's awesome fun to do it sometimes. I also just feel like you need to click with the Avenger that suits you, and for me, that just isn't the Hulk in this game. But I imagine that it would still feel great for some, and for some people, that would work really well. For me, I feel like Iron Man and Kamala might be more my jam. And Captain America, for sure. Cap is great. I actually just realized something that I originally thought weirdly of this game for not casting the main voice actors in the actual films as the characters in this game. But then I actually don't criticize the Arkham games for not having some of the film Batman actors. And I realized that that's a bit of an interesting thing for me. Which then leads me to ask the question, am I just finding something to criticize by wanting the actors from the film to voice this and not having that? Or does it make perfect sense for them to do that? Because if you have a look at Kevin Conroy's Batman, Kevin Conroy is obviously the voice of Batman in so many different things, but he's not from the films. So it's okay to have the film universe and the game universe completely separate. Why can't I do the same here? Maybe I should. And I also think one of the reasons maybe why I will buy the fact that the games have not the actors who are actually in the films, is because they have already established actors who are playing the voices of Batman and the Joker when they were coming out. You had Mark Hamill and you had Kevin Conroy. So I think that one of the reasons why it was easy to buy was just because we already had established voice actors who voiced them in a whole bunch of different series. So maybe part of the reason as to why I actually bought the idea of the voice actors in the Batman games being great, even though... I was already a fan of the film Batmans was because they already had established voice actors who were actually playing the characters already. I can't think of anybody who was already playing God, these characters you know except for the film actors. That's so cool! Oh man, I can't wait to see all the Avengers just sitting in this ship. Is it me or is Hulk weirdly undersized? Because I feel like when they started making films about Hulk, he was huge. When he was in the Ang Lee films with Eric Banner, he was gigantic. And then he became smaller and smaller. And suddenly I remember in Avengers Age of Ultron, when Hulk disappears, he fits into a ship. And I swear he was bigger than a ship. Anyway, I swear he's gotten smaller as time's gone by. Sweet, we're gonna get started on our mission. Ah, oh, that's very, very cool. I love the way Kamala moves. Keep an eye on him, Kamala. Aim and found the Say what? Okay, cool. Look after him. Take out some bad guys. Do some damage. Can do that. Commander Hill? Hello? Radio's down. Guess it's just us from here. <laughs> Not to worry. I will guide you to their signal jammers. Why, thank you very much. Up there. It's an aim drop ship. Hulk slash aim. There is a special enemy unit close to your location. <gasps> that they may drop something useful. That should be around here somewhere. Keep an eye out. 
<laughs> Glad to know that that's exactly what Hulk's thinking. I imagine voicing over Hulk would have been hard. We'd be like, Hulk smash er! Would have got a really sore throat. Kamala feels really smooth to play. She moves across the terrain really well, and it's really cool when she actually just uses any of her like elastic arms to grab onto things and pull her up. It feels awesome. Reminds me of how Spider-Man swings, but obviously she's just grabbing things. If you're curious, there should be an external locking mechanism you can use to open the doors. Right, like a switch or something. You want to look around, Hulk? <laughs> Hulk didn't sound like he wanted to do anything at all. It's like the toddler who just said, No, I don't want to work. Ooh, there we go! The objective is coming close. Also, I'm going to avoid opening any unnecessary objects that I can and finding any chests. Some chests might open, I just don't have too much time in terms of playing the beta. I had a very limited window to actually get main missions done. <laughs> Alright, looks like I'm going to run into some bad guys. I'm going to take them out. Yes, I got a shield out straight away. That's the good thing. Now I just need to wail into him. Oh man, that hand clap there, whatever it's called, is actually really cool. Feels great. Reminds me of Hulk's Thunderclap a little bit, but it's just different enough that it's not quite the Thunderclap. Oh no! Two on one. We gotta run. Hey, that rhymed. Make a tactical retreat, and then come back and drag it. Oh yes, that worked, that's great! Oh man, it's so good when I can actually get that shield down and just get one or two good hits in, but it's always tricky to find the exact spot where you can just disarm the shield. There you go, it seems to be a little bit more towards the top of the head than the bottom of the ground. Ha, huh, I missed that one there, damn. Alright, now we got him, we're taking them out. This will be great. We got him now. Got that shield down again. I feel like Hulk is helping, but he could do more, I reckon. I reckon he could do more. Oh damn, we're actually down. This is my first time being down in this game. Alright, cool. I feel like... Oh, okay, what happens is, is that if your allies just stand next to you, you automatically revive. That's really cool. No more revive buttons. I like that system. That's how I feel like reviving in this game works. Okay. That being said, I'm not too sure yet. I'm looking forward to playing the whole game. I'm going to order it at some point. Oh cool, they have some like anti-Avengers turrets on the ground. Let's go take all of them out. We missed one there, that last one there is still functional. You're an Avenger? Don't you laugh at me, buddy. I'm gonna kill all of you. I'm curious, does Kamala actually kill them? Or do they go with the whole like... You're just knocking them unconscious, sort of thing. Oh, okay, so this mission must be hold the checkpoint, get all the enemies to attack you at once, and just try and stay there alive the whole time. Alright, well, I'll give them best shots. Here we go. Blue team has captured the flag. I also have an original Xbox and play Halo occasionally on that, so I've got all the PlayStation consoles that are currently out, as well as the original Xbox, and a PC, it's heap of fun. Damn, I feel like I'm being overwhelmed here, that's not good. 
Uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna go. Yikes! Okay, let's just do what we can, keeping it in the rolling round. To stay within proximity of the security node. I might be spamming dodge just a little bit there. Dodge and dodge and dodge. Yes, now we're saved. Hulk's coming to save us. Okay, we're all good. I feel a lot safer already. <laughs> I feel like I actually bitch slap the enemy whenever I do that. Yeah, Kamala feels really good to play. I love how she moves and how she hits. It's fantastic. Yes! Now we've brought out the big guns. Okay. Now we're going to take all of them out. Try and stand completely still and just stay on that little area. Take them all out. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, no, this is not good. Where's that big mecha? That big mecha is going to become a problem. Getting that attack always feels so awesome. Now we're ready to fight. I'm worried about that big mecha. Wherever that big mecha is, he's going to be the biggest problem in this fight. I'm not sure how we're going to go, but we're going to give it our best shot. There you are. Spotted the mecha. Okay, that's where he is. As long as we take him down and just keep on running around on top of this thing, we'll be alright. But man, the mecha nearly took me down there and that was actually really tricky. Sorted that out. Now just the big guy. That big guy's still a problem. Oh, and this is the last turret that we didn't manage to finish off before. Okay, let's take it out. I just need that monster to die. That big mechanical monster to just keel over and die. Uh huh, that sounds very right. Oh, damn, what are we gonna do here? Well, let's improvise. See how best we can manage the situation now that I'm nearly dead and Hulk is almost on his last legs as well. No, he's on his last legs. Oh, good, we finished it. Success.
Exactly, Kamala. In your faces. Love the way you say that. So enthusiastic. Follow the beats. Got it. Still can't reach Commander Hill, huh? Gonna try not to let that freak me out. Let's get out of the cold, Hulk. Wait. Do you get cold? Data remains inconclusive. Yeah, that's an interesting question, actually. If Hulk was in space, would he freeze to death then? If he can't feel cold? Oh, uh, maybe he just, obviously, would get cold, just doesn't feel it. Maybe he just doesn't pick it up. This is pretty cool. I'm getting some really weird The Last of Us playing as Ellie vibes during the winter section in this particular section of the game. Not that it's exactly the same, but I'm just picking up that vibe. Yay, we found it! Okay, cool. the sentiment. It is rather unpleasant existing without instantaneous access to all the information in the known universe. Is Jarvis really that sophisticated? I would have said just all the information on Earth. What does it feel like? Not having an uplink, I mean. Is it like losing your memory? I'm not sure what the human equivalent would be. I suppose it's like being locked out of the library. Oh, like when Ami shuts off the Wi-Fi. Quite. Yes, when the Wi-Fi shut off is a great description. Wow, check out all this stuff. Guess we better start looking. Look for a chest with gear nearby. I feel like we're being followed as we go down here. Although it's kind of cool, I feel like I'm exploring secret tunnels that shouldn't be touched. Like this place was hidden for us. Wow, this place looks really pretty. Looks like an ex army base, I imagine. Feel like this is obviously a shield hideout. Sweet, so our strong triangle attack is equal to that of Hulk's strong triangle attack as well. Ooh, we've got some new gear here. That looks like really good gear. Sweet, so some more upgrading stuff. Apparently press R2 and you can compare different gear. Combat rating systems, dope. I really didn't spend too much time actually paying attention to how to level up in this game. I was just more focused on get in, hit some bad guys, get out, have some fun. Let's do it. Particularly as in this game, there's nothing that I can really imagine is actually good to pick up. Like, for example, if I'm playing Lord of the Rings, the third age, I can pick up, like, a first age sword of Eriador. Or, like, the sword of Isildur, or, like, some magical weapon which was used in, like, the wars where Isildur fought Sauron. Like, some really cool weapons. But here, I can't really imagine wanting to pick up anything. Except for the Infinity Stones, and some of the gear that was in the Vault of Nowhere in Endgame. And a couple of other Avengers films, and Guardians of the Galaxy films. I believe we may have triggered a classified shield security system. Avenger detected. Hello Avengers. It's been a while. Nick Fury. If you're hearing this, then the worst has happened. 
I'm gone. And that means I need you now more than ever. I always knew S.H.I.E.L.D. might fall. So I made sure it could also rise again. These are the S.H.I.E.L.D. protocols. S.H.I.E.L.D. was built to protect the world. In times like this, when it all seems hopeless, that's when we've got to stand strong. So I need a favor. Deliver these protocols to any remaining subdirector. They'll give S.H.I.E.L.D. what they need to rebuild. Good luck, Avengers. Fury out. Director Fury. Like, like S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Director Fury. Those protocols he's talking about must be inside. That was pretty cool. I still wish that it was Samuel Jackson. I miss me my Samuel Jackson in this moment. I knew it! We were followed! Okay, these are laser type enemies! They look like they're using the lasers that are very similar to Iron Man's lasers. Oh damn! Alright, well, let's do our best to take them all out! Here we go! We got this, we got this. Gee, these guys have a decent amount of health on them. We almost got him, we almost got him. Let's take this guy out. I'll see if I can avoid using my special attacks because I don't really need to. And these guys actually weren't as much of a challenge as I was expecting. That's not too bad. The way that she hits when she hits multiple enemies is fantastic, it feels very very cool, like the thunk thunk thunk. Ah oh, snap, okay now we've got a few more enemies, the teleporting guy's coming in, this might be a little bit more tricky, let's see how we go. I really can't wait to play as more Avengers than this. Kamala is good so far, but I'm really looking forward to playing as Iron Man, and honestly, Cap. I can't wait to play as Cap. Cap's gonna be great. Jesus, these guys have so much health. And they're reasonably powerful as well. I've got to really make sure that I just take them out without getting hit too much. Ah, oh, snap! Hulk's down! Okay, let me use my most powerful attack and actually see if I can go and take them out and revive Hulk at the same time. There you go, that seemed to work. Yeah. 
Last couple of bad guys. Last couple. Then we got him. Yay! Mission complete! Alright! That was really good! Now let's return back to the Chimera and see what's in store for us next. We're going to be finishing this episode very soon. Wow! Director Fury! Got more than we bargained for, didn't we Jarvis? We better get this back to the Chimera. Charting a course now. I'm honestly going to give this a rating of 4, because that was actually some very good combat. Kamala feels fantastic to play. This beta is free. I cannot praise it enough for being free. It's fantastic in that way. I had a great time with it. That was really, really good. I enjoyed that, and I really was surprised by how good that felt to play. Alright, I think I've finished this video here. Thank you so much for coming to see some more of Gabe's games today. If you like this gaming content, and you would like to see more, please smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.